Here we'll consider how a change in temperature will affect the pH, pOH, pKW, and neutrality of pure water. We'll just do a quick review of the relationship between hydronium ion concentration and pH. Because this is a negative sign, the pH and the hydronium ion concentration have opposite trends. So as we increase the hydronium ion concentration, the pH decreases. Similarly, when we consider hydroxide ion concentration and pOH, because this is a negative sign, the pOH and the OH- concentration have opposite trends. So as we increase the hydroxide ion concentration, the pOH decreases. We'll make a note of these up here. Now we'll review how the temperature affects the ionization of pure water. Remember this equilibrium exists in all samples of water, and it's endothermic. Also recall that increasing the temperature adds heat to this equilibrium system. According to Le Chatelier's principle, the equilibrium will counteract the addition of heat by shifting to the right. As the shift to the right occurs, the hydronium and hydroxide ion concentrations increase. Water is a liquid, so its concentration does not change. After the shift, a new equilibrium is established in which the concentration of H3O and the concentration of OH- are both higher than they were before the shift. It is important to realize that when the temperature increases, the concentration of hydronium and the concentration of hydroxide increase by the same amount. And the concentration of hydronium and the concentration of hydroxide remain equal to each other. Therefore, the water remains neutral. So if we increase the temperature and both hydronium and hydroxide ion concentrations increase, as the concentration of hydronium increases, the pH decreases, and as the concentration of hydroxide increases, the pOH will also decrease. At this point, you must be really careful. You might mistakenly conclude the decrease in pH means the solution gets more acidic. A decrease in pH does not mean the solution gets more acidic. When the temperature is increased, the concentration of hydronium and the concentration of hydroxide increase by the same amount, so the water remains neutral. A question we can ask now is what happens to the value of Kw when the temperature is increased? Remember Kw is defined as the hydronium ion concentration times the hydroxide ion concentration. So as the temperature is increased and the hydronium and hydroxide ion concentrations both increase, so does their product, Kw. Also, as the temperature is increased, the pH and the pOH both decrease. So their sum, the pKw, also decreases. So to summarize, as the temperature increases, the value of Kw also increases. And as the temperature increases, the value of pKw decreases. This makes sense because pKw is the negative log of Kw, so Kw and pKw have opposite trends. And when the temperature increases, Kw increases and pKw decreases. In this table, we'll summarize what happens to each one of these quantities as the temperature is increased and decreased. Because the ionization is endothermic, an increase in temperature causes it to shift to the right. The shift to the right causes the hydronium ion concentration to increase, and the hydroxide ion concentration to increase. Because the concentration of hydronium and the concentration of hydroxide both increase, their product, Kw, also increases. Because the concentration of hydronium increases, the value of pH decreases. And because the concentration of OH- increases, the value of pOH also decreases. Because pH and pOH both decrease, their sum, pKw, will also decrease. Water remains neutral. Changing temperature alone will never change the acidity of pure water. As long as no acid or base is added, water will always remain neutral. Now, without looking at the answers for increasing the temperature, Pause the video and fill in the column for decreasing the temperature on your own. Be able to justify each of your answers. Then resume the video and check your answers. Because the ionization is endothermic, a decrease in temperature would cause a shift to the left. A shift to the left would cause the hydronium concentration to decrease. 
and the hydroxide ion concentration to decrease. Because both hydronium and hydroxide decrease, their product Kw will also decrease. Because the hydronium concentration decreases, the pH will increase. And because the hydroxide concentration decreases, the pOH will increase. Because pH and pOH both increase, their sum, the pKw, will also increase. And remember that changing the temperature never makes pure water acidic or basic. It always remains neutral. Now we'll recall the actual values for these in pure water at 25 degrees. The hydronium and hydroxide ion concentrations are both 1 times 10 to the negative 7th molar. The value of Kw is 1 times 10 to the negative 14th. The pH and the pOH are both equal to 7. And pKw is 14. We know that pure water is neutral. Also, the concentration of hydronium is equal to the concentration of hydroxide, which also tells us that it's neutral. Now we'll come up with the range in values for these quantities if the temperatures increase to above 25 degrees. The temperature has been increased, so the ionization of water equilibrium will shift to the right. This would make both the hydronium and hydroxide ion concentrations greater than 1 times 10 to the negative 7. So the product of hydronium and hydroxide ion concentration, Kw, is greater than 1 times 10 to the negative 14th. Because hydronium and hydroxide concentrations are greater than 1 times 10 to the negative 7th, it means that the negative logs of these, the pH and the pOH, will both be less than 7. And the sum of pH and pOH, the pKw, will be less than 14. Because pH is less than 7, you might be tricked into thinking that the water is acidic. But you cannot make this assumption if the water is not at 25 degrees. The hydronium and hydroxide concentrations are still equal to each other, and pure water at any temperature is neutral. Changing the temperature cannot make neutral water acidic or basic. We can now quickly determine the ranges of these quantities if the temperature is lowered to less than 25 degrees. Decreasing the temperature to below 25 degrees would cause the ionization equilibrium to shift to the left. This would cause both hydronium and hydroxide ion concentrations to fall below 1 times 10 to the negative 7th molar. And their product, Kw, would fall below 1 times 10 to the negative 14th. Because the hydronium and hydroxide concentrations are both less than 1 times 10 to the negative 7, the pH and the pOH are both greater than 7. And their sum, pKw, is greater than 14. Again, pure water remains neutral, no matter what the temperature is. It's good to be familiar with this table, but instead of memorizing it, it's better to figure out what the values of hydronium ion concentration, hydroxide ion concentration, and Kw will be, just by the way the ionization equilibrium shifts. And to figure out what pH, pOH, and pKw will be, using the fact that they have opposite trends to the hydronium and hydroxide ion concentrations. And of course, remember that pure water is always neutral, no matter what the temperature is.